All right, guys, I just got through customs. It's official. I'm in Singapore. I'm in Southeast Asia. Time to go herping. This is going to be a blast, man. I can't wait. Got a lot of species that uh, I'm going to be targeting, including king cobras, waggles, pit vipers, shore pit vipers. I mean, just a ton of really cool snakes. Everything I find is going to be a lifer. So headed to get my luggage. In the next video that you guys will see, it'll be me out in the field herping Southeast Asia. Let's do this. Nature in your face! We're out in the last remaining original rainforest here in Singapore. And you know, when you're from out of town, the best way to find the snakes is to talk to an expert. So we got Matt North. Come on over here, Matt North. All right, Matt North. So I'm looking for the Waggler's Pit Viper. So where would I want to look out here in the rainforest? I'm going to switch so everyone can kind of see what we're looking at here. Look at this, guys. That's all this rainforest here. And Matt Nor, how long have you been working here, Matt Nor? Yeah, uh, we've been working for eight years. Eight years, okay. Yes. So do you find a lot of the wagglers out here? There's a lot of snake over here. Okay. Uh, especially the blue coral, the paradise snake, the twin bar snake, cobras. Okay. So we, we hopefully <laughs> that you, you guys can find it out. Okay. Yeah. So guys, my first goal is to find the wagglers pit viper. Uh, males and females look completely different, so they're sexually dimorphic. The females, in my opinion, are a little bit more beautiful. They got all that black and yellow speckling, and then they've got the green uh, males with the with kind of like the uh, red spots and stripes on them. So, well, Matt and Nora, we're gonna head off and we're gonna see what we can find. But thank you. Hopefully, you, hopefully you can find it one. Okay. Ah. I'm going to follow Matt Nor's advice. He told me to follow this path along the edge of the rainforest to try and find these snakes. Matt Nor told me the snakes hang out anywhere from a foot to six feet off the ground in pretty much any horizontal tree branch that will support their body weight. So hopefully I find my target species, the Waggler's Pit Viper, and some things along the way. But let's go find some snakes. All right, well, that didn't take long. I just found my first snake of the trip. Check this out. Now, it's not a Waggler's Pit Viper but it is every bit as cool. This is a paradise tree snake, sometimes referred to as a flying snake, and it was on my top 10 list of snakes I wanted to find on this trip. I mean, look at the kaleidoscope of colors with those three triple red spots on the top of the back. It's got a perfect arrangement of black and yellow flecks. What a stunningly beautiful snake. Now, despite its name, it cannot truly fly, but what they can do is extend their ribs and flatten the skin along the body, which basically turns them into little reptilian hang gliders, and they'll spring off the top of a tree and glide distances of 35 feet or more from tree to tree. I mean, that is just incredible. I really love the eyes. Look at the blue ring around that black pupil. It's a rear fanged venomous snake, harmless to people, but what an awesome first find. I'm gonna get back on that trail and see what else we can get, but man, I could not be happier with this snake. One of the things I love most about being out here in the rainforest is just all the noises you hear. The insects, the birds. And then at night you got an entire chorus of frogs and the nocturnal insects. It's just a super cool place to be. Oh yeah, my luck just keeps continuing because I got another arboreal snake species right here. This time an Asian vine snake. So uh, I saw some movement at the corner of my eye as I was walking by and I see this tiny little head looking back at me from the leaves. I immediately knew what it was and these guys are not easy to spot. They really do look a lot like the green vines that are growing on the trees. And that's obviously where they get their name. And even if you look at the top of the head, it comes to a point. The head looks like a leaf, but uh, they're strictly diurnal. And the coolest thing about them, if you look closely, you'll see the odd shaped horizontal pupil in the eyes. They have incredibly awesome vision with great depth of field so that they can accurately strike and grab lizards and tree frogs and some of the other small animals they eat. But um, just like the paradise tree snake, it's another rear fang venomous snake, harmless to humans. But uh, I'm pretty excited. I can cross another snake off my list. Still early, I still have a few hours of daylight, so you know I'm gonna keep trying to get that Waggler's Pit Viper, but uh, that's two cool snakes in a row. Let's keep going and try to get our waggy. So to give you guys an update, I just ran into another herper, a guy from Germany of all places. Super cool guy, but anyway, he said that several herpers had found a few Waggler's Pit Vipers at the higher elevation, so I'm headed up there now. And he gave me a very accurate description on where I might find them. Uh, these snakes are ambush predators that will sometimes sit in the same tree branch for weeks at a time without moving. So there's a good chance I'm finally going to get that Waggler's Pit Viper. So stay tuned. This is a really good tip. Guys, I am about to scream right now. Not a bad scream, 
but a scream of pure joy because there's a freaking Waggler's Pit Viper on this branch, only about a foot and a half off the ground. It's an adult female. You can easily tell because they look nothing like the males. Okay, so I'm going to try and relax here so I can talk about this black and gold awesomeness. It was my number one target, and I just hit the bullseye. All right, there was a bit of strategy in this find because it started to drizzle for a while, and the temperature dropped a bit. And as soon as that sun came back out, I figured these snakes might seek warmth in the patches of sunlight, and that's exactly where I found this snake. Now, they're ambushed predators. And they'll sit and wait for a mammal or bird to move within striking range, and then they'll nail it, inject venom, and then track it with their tongue once it's dead. But this is only one of two pit vipers that can be found in Singapore, the other one being the shore pit viper, which is much, much more dangerous than the wagglers due to its more defensive nature and much more potent venom. But <clears throat> All right, so now that I find this, anything else I find from this point on, will be a bonus so I hope you guys aren't bored because I've got a long walk back so I still might find more snakes but oh man look at that snake just the big fat head you can see the venom glands right behind the eye just oh man I'm so stoked all right you know as I'm walking back like I said if I find something we'll get that camera back out and uh, talk more about it so <laughs> let's go well, there you go, another snake. That is a painted bronzeback snake, and it was up in the tree looking for lizards and tree frogs, which is a typical diet for these rear fang snakes that I've been finding here on my hike. But check out that really cool turquoise blue pattern on the upper third of the body. Now, you're not supposed to be seeing that. The snake flattened its neck, and it's showing us the bright blue coloration between the scales, so that's a threat display. Normally, you would see the bronze from the head and down the back to the tail and not see that blue, so that's rather interesting. But also check out the huge disproportionately large eyes they can see really well which is an advantage when they're up there looking for those small lizards and frogs these things kind of remind me of the uh, ribbon snakes back home in the uh, genus thamnophis just because the the head is really similar and they got that slender build but man another cool snake so far it's been a really good day i'm going to get back to it and we're going to see if we can find some more snakes Well, I should probably be a lot more excited than I sound because I just found another Waggler's Pit Viper. And at first glance, I really thought this was the male I was looking for because of the green colors. Turns out it's another female. Both the males and juvenile females start out bright green, and it's not for a while that the females go through that radical color change and develop the black and yellow pattern that you guys saw on that other adult that I found earlier. But whatever, snake fooled me for a second. But I guess if I wasn't going to find a male, this is the next best thing. Still a totally different color, but wow, for my first day in Singapore, I would say I blew it up. And it's about to get dark, guys, so I'm going to end it right here. If you guys thought those snakes were pretty cool, do me a huge favor. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. It really does go a long way in helping us create content like this, but we really appreciate the love and support, and we will see you guys on the next adventure of nature in your Singaporean face.